What's up, guys? A Rated Gamer here, and welcome to day four review of E3 2017. This will most likely be the final video, unless other things happen today and tomorrow. But today it's just Nintendo, and I think Nintendo, along with Ubisoft, won E3. I think Nintendo. Because they teamed up, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I think both of those, both of them won E3 pretty much. So, Nintendo, great job. Okay, so let's get right into the video. Uh, to start, Rocket League will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. And FIFA 18 is also coming to the Nintendo Switch. We knew that already. So, Rocket League and FIFA will be on the Switch, it'll be exclusive content like Mario and Pokemon stuff in Rocket League on the Switch. I think I might pick that game up when I get my Switch because I love Rocket League, I have it on my PS4, but playing that game on the go, playing a quick game, that would, that would be pretty fun. So if it's 20 bucks, I might pick that game up. So good job Nintendo with getting that. but. You know, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read this real quick. Yeah, I'm just reading over the summary. So, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was announced, and Xenoblade Chronicles, the first game, that looked pretty fun. I'll probably have to get that for the Wii U, but it's set to be released holiday 2017 that be that that'll probably be another game I'll get because I, lo I think it's an RPG uh, I'm not sure but you know if it's an RPG then I'll probably pick it up because I love RPGs so you know Nintendo uh, I'll probably be be buying Xenoblade Chronicles too around the holidays and Covering that video. Alright, and a new, a new Kirby game was announced called Literally Just Kirby. And it's like 2.5D platforming game. So basically, it's like the Mario games on the Wii U or Little Big Planet on the PlayStation. That, that's pretty much what it's going to be like. And that's pretty cool. You could play with two players, so you can use those Joy Cons. And it'll be coming out in 2018. Probably the biggest announcement of them all is that a Pokemon game is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And oh my gosh, this is looking freaking awesome. So they're saying that. Game Freak is developing a core RPG Pokemon game f whoa, for the Nintendo Switch. Uh but they haven't they're not able to like show any gameplay yet, so it'll probably come out in twenty nineteen. A very long way away. I'd say at least twenty nineteen, if not then twenty twenty. But there is a game being made. There is a Pokemon game being made for the Switch, so rest assured. And another huge announcement, Metroid Prime 4 was announced for the Nintendo Switch. And it's been like 10 years since the last Metroid Prime. And holy crap, a ton of people are hyped up, which, I mean, I cannot, I can't blame them. Because, you know, Metroid, I've heard Metroid is a really good, good series and I actually want to maybe get into it with Metroid Prime 4 and uh, and and going off of that there's something that this article does not mention is that Nintendo actually announced a side scroller Metroid game called Metroid Samus Returns and that's probably the bigger game of the two, because a lot of people have been wanting a new side-scrolling Metroid. And there's been, like, indie games to make games like 
the Metroid side scroller, but finally Nintendo themselves is developing a side scrolling Metroid game known as Metroid Samus Returns. Okay, and then a Yoshi game named Yoshi was was featured and it's going to be yarn based game just like Yoshi's Woolly World and it, it looks like they're saying it looks like a combination of Little Big Planet and Yoshi's Island and like Kirby the Yoshi game will be coming out in 2018 and that might be a game my brother won't want to play because he likes those yarn games a lot so you know I'll have to look for that game for him. Fire Emblem Fire Emblem Warriors was announced. Or no, no, no it wasn't announced, but they just showcased it, and it'll be coming out in fall 2017. And they showed like the story mode and setting up the background for the game to come out or er, for the game, and. The plot is focused on two uh, two people that are siblings and they're royalty. Their parents are nowhere to be found, and there will be many cameos by other Fire Emblem characters. So, look for that in fall 2017. And a lot of people are saying that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild... Expansion pass is looking promising. the The first pack is known as Mas the Master Trials, including Trial of the Sword, and Link spawns in an area naked and must fight for his survival with only <coughs> the bare essentials at his disposal. That's quoting from Games Radar. Oh my gosh. So yeah, they they also f uh featured the Br Zelda Breath of the Wild items in the Switch version of Skyrim and they dove right into the DLC pack and there'll be a mode known as Hero Pass mode and Master mode, new armor known as Tingle outfit, a Korok mask, uh Pack 2 is called the Champion's Ballad, focused on the four different champions from the di many many different tribes of Breath of the Wild, and they'll be getting their own amiibo, which will be compatible with the game. Sweet. And then they showed Mario plus Rabbids footage, plus the Rocket League port it's exclusive content. So, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which was featured at Ubisoft press conference, and it's going to be like Mario and the Rabbids shooting lasers at each other, and Luigi and Peach. So, that'll be available August 29th, and there'll be customizable, uh, ah, customizable, customization items which are exclusive and battle cars which are exclusive on on the on Rocket League and people are hoping for Captain Falcon's Blue Falcon and it will be coming holiday 2017 like I said before. And finally, the biggest announcement of them all. I've been saying that for every one of these Super Mario Odyssey. So, Basically, this hat, you throw it at whatever you want, and whatever it hits, you could become that thing. So, like, Mario can be, like, a freaking fish, or a car, or a real-life person in Manhattan, because the game goes there. Yeah, it, it, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, and the, the trailer started with a scene with the T-Rex. And uh, Mario's cap was on the dinosaur's head, and you and Mario was controlling it. So, yeah, that looks really cool. And 
You could control Goombas, Koopas, Bullet Bills, Cheap Cheeps, and different creatures. Taxi cabs and humans rock walking around New Donk City, which is just New York City. And Mario has different costumes, like the Sombrero costume and the Stars and Stripes costume. God bless America. Way to shout out America and Nintendo. And there are many different worlds, it's like the prehistoric world and the gothic world. And there was a 2D cutout that gave a shout out to a link between worlds. And yeah, they, the trailer featured a really cool, uh, like, jazzy song called Let's Do the Odyssey. And the game will be coming out October 27th, 2017. Which is the best news possible, in my opinion, because that is so early, and I will be getting that game. If it isn't sold out in the first two seconds, I will be getting that game on release date. In fact, I probably will pre-order it, just so I can guarantee myself a copy. <sighs> but yeah. That's it. That pretty much wraps up E3 2017. Uh, Nintendo, I think you truly won E3. Thank you for putting on a great show, Nintendo. Thank you to all the video game companies and tech companies for coming out to E3. The conference doesn't officially end until late tomorrow, but mostly it'll just be tech demos and the announcements have pretty much happened already. So unless anything interesting happens, this will be the last of the E3 videos. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you, tech companies. Thank you for everyone who participated at E3. And thank you for thank you to ah, most thank you to Nintendo who actually listened to their fans. And it looks like the Nintendo Switch is going to be. A successful console knock on wood still looking for a lot of those first party games and I'm still looking for Call of Duty World War 2 on the switch all right because you can connect your switch account to Call of Duty website now or your Nintendo account so I'm looking for that Activision delay it if you have to just make it happen and include the freaking Pacific okay in North Africa, alright, but at least the Pacific. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you either tomorrow for day five review or next year for E3. But I'll be making other videos this summer, of course. And peace.